Well, two Democratic candidates for Senate have been focusing their race on ousting Tennessee Republican Senator Marsha Blackburn. But before either can face Blackburn, they have to win the party's nomination first. And tomorrow will be their chance to do just that. News 2's Adam Mincer has details on the Tennessee Democrats hoping to now make it to Washington. Adam? Mark, the two women in the Democratic primary for U.S. Senate in Tennessee are Gloria Johnson and Marquita Bradshaw. Knoxville Democrat Gloria Johnson is a retired teacher who currently serves in the State House of Representatives. Johnson made national headlines last year as a member of the so-called Tennessee Three. The trio faced expulsion in the State House after the Covenant shooting for advocating for gun reform on the House floor. While all three broke chamber rules, Johnson served survived expulsion by one vote. Representatives Pearson and Jones were expelled. Marquita Bradshaw is an environmental activist from Memphis. This is not her first time going for a U.S. Senate seat. Bradshaw ran against now Senator Bill Haggerty in 2020. Haggerty got 62% of the vote. Bradshaw received more than a million votes, but just 35% of the total. Despite this margin, both women say they can defeat incumbent Senator Marsha Blackburn this fall with issues that matters to both parties, like abortion and the environment. A lot of the Republicans and independents that are coming to my campaign say they're becoming because of two issues, Dobbs and gun violence. Do you want clean air to breathe? Of course you do. <laughs> and a lot of other people do too. And they know how important it is for us to thrive. Johnson also argued that voter turnout can play a big role in this election, and both candidates have said they have been making efforts to engage with people one-on-one -on -one to boost turnout. Coming up on News 2 at 5, we'll dig into a race that has been dominating the airwaves. Mark. Adam, thanks so much. And also on Election Day, you must vote at your assigned location. Before you head to the polls, make sure you also check your registration card or Check the polling place finder at Nashville.gov, or you could even call the election commission and make sure you're headed to the right place before you vote. And don't forget, you must bring a photo ID. Voting runs from 7 in the morning until 7 in the evening, and we're going to have the results on air and online at WKRN.com. Keep in mind, that's where you can also see a sample ballot for that August 1st election.